Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Today we are doing algebraic expressions, chapter 11, exercise 11b. The adjacent sides of a rectangle are given to us. These are the two adjacent sides, sides next to each other. Find its area. The formula to find the area is length into breadth. Now what are the adjacent sides? Because here length and breadth are not given. We are only told about adjacent sides. So adjacent sides, if you take a rectangle, are the sides that are next to each other. If I take this side and this side, they're called adjacent sides. This and this are called adjacent sides. So sides that are next to each other, that means the length and the breadth are called adjacent sides. So that means we can take one of these as the length and the other as the breadth. So let's substitute in this formula. So here we have area of a rectangle equals length. So write, let's write x square minus 4xy plus 7y square as the length. And we're going to multiply this with the breadth, which is x to the power of 3 minus 5xy square. So we begin with this. So we start with x square. We're going to multiply with the first term there. So that is x square into x to the power of 3 is x to the power of 5. Then once that is over, we're going to multiply x square with this. That is minus 5xy square. So let's take that x square into minus 5xy square. So the sign is minus, the number is 5x square and x will make it x to the power of 3 and we have y square. So minus 5x cube y square. So we have finished with the first term x square. Now let's go on to the next one that is minus 4xy into the first term here. So that we can do it here itself. The sign is minus, the number is 4. x into x cube is x to the power of 4 and we have a y. Now let's multiply this with the second term. So that is 4xy into minus 5xy square. So the sign is minus, the number 4 fives are 20. Then we have x and x, so that is x square. And we have y and y square, that is y cube. So that is minus 20 x square y cubed. Now we take plus 7 y square and multiply with this. So 7 y square into x cube. So the number is 7, the sign is plus. Then we have y square x cube or we can write this as plus 7 x cube y square. I'm putting it in alphabetical order. Plus 7 x cube y square. Now we multiply this with the second term. So that is 7 y square into minus 5 x y square. So plus into minus is minus. The number 7 fives are 35. We have y square and y square that is y to the power of 4 and we have an x here. So we can write this as minus 35 x y to the power of 4. So minus 35 x y to the power of 4. Now let's look for like terms. So here we have x to the power of 5. Do we have another one? No. So we can write this as x to the power of 5. Then here we have x cube y square. Do we have another one? x cube y square we have here. Okay, so let's take these two. That is this one and this one and write it together. So minus 5x cube y square and plus 7x cube y square. Then the next one is minus 4x to the power of 4y. We don't have another one like that. So let's write minus 4 x to the power of 4 y. Then we have this x square y cube, which we don't have. So that is the only one. So let's write that. So minus 20 x square y cube. And the last one here, minus 35 x y to the power of 4. Now let's work out and see. So here we have x to the power of 5. And here we have this. So let's take the numbers. These are like terms. Signs are different. Put the sign the bigger number and subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2x cube y square. Then we have minus 4x to the power of 4y. 
minus 20x square y square and minus 35x y to the power of 4. Okay, so we've got this. Now let's rearrange this in the order of the power of x. Okay, so the highest power of x is this x to the power of 5. Then let's see what else we have. After 5, we should have 4. So here we have x to the power of 4. So let's write this term. So we finished this term. Let's write this term now. So that is minus 4 x to the power of 4 and y. Now let's look for x to the power of 3. We have here. So this should come next. So let's write this plus 2 x to the power of 3 y to the power of 2. Now let's look for x to the power of 2. So here we have x to the power of 2. So that is minus 20 x to the power of 2 and y to the power of 3. And then we have, we finished with this, let's mark that. And then we have the last one which is minus 35 x and y to the power of 4. So this is our final answer and since we are asked to find the area, we need to write this as area equals so much square unit. Okay, square unit, units are not given to us. So we write it as square unit. This is the final answer. Question 5. The base and the altitude of a triangle are given to us. So this is the base and this is the altitude. What do we mean by altitude? The height. So we have the base and the height given to us. We have to find its area. So let's write what's given to us. The base of the triangle is given to us and the altitude or the height of the triangle is also given to us. What is the formula to find the area? Formula is half into base into height. So let's start working this out. So this will be half into base is 3x minus 4y into 6x my plus 5y. So we have half into base into height. So now we are going to work out these two. We are going to multiply the base and the height. So let's do that. So this will remain the same. So half into we multiply 3x into 6x. So that will be 3 6s are 18. x into x is x squared. Then we go on to the next one that is 3x into plus 5x. The sign is plus. 3 5s are 15. x into y is xy. Now we take the next one that is minus 4y and we multiply it with 6x. So the sign is minus. The numbers 4 6s are 24. y into x is yx or xy. Then we have to multiply minus 4y into plus 5y. The sign is minus, 4 fives are 20, y into y is y square. So here again, let's look and see, here we have x square, here, here we have xy and one more xy. So these are two like terms that we need to work on. So let's write the remaining as it is. So this will be 1 by 2 and here it is 18 x square. Now here let's work on this, plus 15 minus 24, signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 24 minus 15 is 9. So that is 9xy minus 20y square. So this is your answer. So half of this much is the area of the triangle. And since it is area, it is square unit. Okay, whatever the unit is, square unit. Question 6. Multiply this monomial and this monomial and then verify your result. That means the answer that you get for x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. So this is how we do it. First, we multiply these two. So let's do that multiplication first. So that is minus 4xy cubed into 6x square y. So as you know, the first thing we do is multiply the numerical coefficients minus 4 into 6. The sign is minus 4 sixes are 24. Now we look at the literal. So here we have x to the power of 1 and x to the power of 2. So that becomes x to the power of 3. Then here we have y to the power of 3 and y to the power of 1. So that makes it y to the power of 4. So after multiplication, now this is what we have minus 24x cubed y to the power of 4. 
Now what we are going to do is we are going to multiply again these two monomials but this time we are going to substitute x with 2 and y with 1 because that has been given to us. So this is for x is equal to and y is equal to 1 we are going to do the same multiplication. So let's take that minus 4x y to the power of 3 into 6x square y. So we are going to replace x and y with the numbers given to us, with the values given to us. So let's do that minus 4 into x, isn't it? And how much is x given to us? x is given to us as 2. So here x is given to us as 2. So instead of x, we are going to write 2 into y to the power of 3 and y is given as 1. So that is 1 raised to the power of 3, 1 cubed. So this is the first term. Now let's look at the next term that is this into 6x square y. So let's do that. So this will be into 6 into x square and x is 2, 2 square into y and y is 1. So now let's work this out and see what we get. So this will be minus 4 into 2 into 1 cubed is 1 into 1 into 1 which is still 1 into 6 into 2, 2's are 4 into 1. So here what do we have? Let's multiply all the numbers and see. Minus is the sign because there's no other sign. So the answer will also have a minus sign. Now let's multiply the numbers. 4 2's are 8. 8 1's are 8. So this is 8 into. So we have minus 8 here into. And on the other side here what do we have? 6 4's are 24. 24 into 1 is 24. So this is 24. So now let's multiply. Minus 8 into 24, the sinus minus 24 into 8 is 192. So here this is one answer that we got when we multiplied these two monomials. These two monomials and we replaced x and y with this. Now let's take this answer that we got because we're going to verify it, isn't it? We're going to verify to see whether these two after multiplication will have the same answer as this. So let's take minus 24x cubed y to the power of 4, substitute x for 2 and y as 1 and see what answer we get. So let's write that. So now it is minus 24x to the power of 3 and y to the power of 4. Now again here we are going to substitute x with 2 and y with 1. So minus 24 into x is 2, 2 to the power of 3 into y and y is 1, 1 to the power of 4. So this will be minus 24 into 2 to the power of 3 means 2 into 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. So this is 8 and 1. Any number of times that it is raised to the power, it will still be 1. So this is minus 24 into 8 into 1. The sign is minus 24 into 8 is 192. And that into 1 will give you the same thing. So here can you see we've got minus 192. So now can you see both the answers are the same. When we multiply the monomial separately, we got one answer. And the answer that we got after multiplying, we got the same thing when we replaced x with 2 and y with 1. So you have to write the same. For x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1, it is verified that the, the multiplication of these two monomials is equal to the final answer 24x cubed minus 24 x cubed y to the power of 4. So this is how you need to complete your answer. Question 7. Find the value of the product of these three monomials where x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3. So we are going to substitute the values here for x, y and z. So let's write down the first step. So first step is we are going to multiply these three monomials. So this will be 3 into x cubed. Okay into minus 5, so we we'll put that within brackets, into x into y square into 2 into x square into y into z cube. So now what we are going to do is we are going to substitute x, y and z with the values given to us here. So let's do that. So this will be 3 into x to the power of 3 and x here is 
1. So that is 1 to the power of 3 into minus 5 into x here again and x is 1 into y to the power of 2 and y is given to us as 2 that is 2 to the power of 2 into 2 into again x to the power of 2 so x is 1 raised to the power of 2 into y is 2 and into z to the power of 3 and z is 3 so 3 to the power of 3 now we're going to simplify all these so this is 3 into 1 to the power of 3 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 into minus 5 because it's minus i'm putting it within brackets into 1 into 2 to the power of 2 is 4 into 2 into 1 to the power of 2 1 into 1 is 1 into 2 into 3 to the power of 3 that is 3 into 3 into 3 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 so now we have to multiply all these here so we can break it up so that we don't have uh, we will not get confused we can do it slowly so let's break it up till here so we have one part till here so our multiplication becomes easier and then we can multiply that so here let's see three ones are three and then three fives are 15 and 15 fours are 60 when you multiply it with uh, one it's the same so this is minus 60 the sign is minus into here we have 2 into 1 is 2, 2 twos are 4, 4 into 27, which is 108. So here we have minus 60 into 108, the sign is minus 108 into 60. Now when you multiply, you will get 6480. So our final answer here is this minus 6480. Question 8, evaluate. Here also we are going to multiply these two monomials. There is no sign between the brackets. So it is understood it is multiplication. And we are going to substitute x with 1 and y with 2. So let's begin. So here we are going to multiply these two. So let's begin with 3 into x to the power of 4 and x is 1. It is given to us. So that is 1 to the power of 4 into y and y is 2. So that is 2 to the power of 2 into 2 into x to the power of 2 that is 1 to the power of 2 into y to the power of 3 which is 2 raised to the power of 3. Now let's simplify this 3 into 1 to the power of 4 will be 1. 1 raised to any power will be the same number. 2 raised to the power of 2. 2 twos are 4 and then 2 into 1 square is 1 into 2 to the power of 3. 2 into 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. So into 8. So here the multiplication is simple. We can just go ahead. 3 ones are 3, 3 fours are 12, 12 twos are 24, 24 ones are 24, 24 into 8 is 192. So we've got our answer 192. Question 9, evaluate. So here we multiply these three monomials and as you can see, they're all x. So we have only one value for x, we have 1. So let's do that. So we're going to multiply these. So x to the power of 5 means 1 raised to the power of 5 into 3x squared. 3 into x is 1 raised to the power of 2 into minus 2. So we'll put that within brackets into x, which is 1. So let's simplify this. 1 raised to the power of 5 is 1 into 3 into 1 squared is also 1 into minus 2 into 1. So now let's multiply these. This is simple. 1 3s are 3, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 6 1s are 6. So the number is 6 and there's one minus sign. So the final answer is minus 6. We will stop with that for now, children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.